In this video, we'll see how to get started connecting and communicating with test instruments, and then automatically generate code that can be used to perform the same tasks in the future. So to quickly get started communicating with instruments, uh, an app is provided in the toolbox called the Test and Measurement app, and it's listed here in Instrument Control in the Apps Gallery. And when we launch the tool, we see that there are nodes here on the left for different types of hardware that are detected, um, different uh, interface and device objects, as well as the different uh, instrument drivers that are available for connecting to instruments. If I scan for available instruments, I'll see under more, it identifies my Tektronix uh, oscilloscope on GPIB2 and my Agilent arbitrary waveform generator on GPIB5. So let's create an interface over Visa to talk to uh, GPIB2 and my oscilloscope. So when I select that interface object, we see a new pane up here, uh, which allows me to connect to that instrument. And before I connect, I first want to make sure that the parameters for my connection are uh, what I want them to be. One thing I'd like to change is the input buffer size, uh, because I plan to read some data off of this oscilloscope, and uh, I'd like the MATLAB buffer for reading that data to be a little bit larger to make sure I can read all of the data. And so now I can connect to the device. And on the Communicate tab, I have an interface where I can uh, send raw data or send ASCII commands back and forth. So a very common command that you'd want to send uh, is star IDN. This asks the instrument to identify itself. And this is a common skippy command that almost all instruments have. If you're familiar with the uh, Skippy command set for your instrument, you can uh, run some of those other commands. These are available in the programming manual for your instrument. So I could say data source to see which channel is being read on the instrument, and you see it's channel 1. Uh, or I could check the waveform preamble. And this provides uh, detail about the way that the uh, uh, instrument is actually sending plans to send data uh, if I were to read the waveform. So I can run the curve command and previously I'd been running query which does uh, which writes a command and then reads the response but now I'll split that out into just writing the command by itself and then when I read the response I'll configure it so that I know that I'm reading a binary block of signed 16-bit integers and now I can read the response correctly and see that I got um, 2506 integers back. So I might be interested in seeing what this data actually looks like and I can just export uh, the variable uh, and choose the variable that I'm interested in which is here is just uh, data4 and I have the options of where I want to export. I can export it as a variable in the MATLAB workspace or to a map file or to the variable editor or I can send it directly into a MATLAB figure window to take a look at it. And we see that the oscilloscope right now is reading a sinusoidal waveform. So this is one way to communicate with an instrument. I'll show you another even easier way to connect to uh, some instruments. So I'll disconnect from the instrument. And if I have an instrument driver for an instrument, um, then that provides a slightly higher level interface and I don't need to know the uh, Skippy command set. So if I right click and create a device object, on GPIB2 to represent this. Now, instead of communicating over the interface object, I can communicate directly through that device object. And if I connect, we now see there's different tabs here. I can I have a whole set of functions that are predefined, and um, I can see what the functions are and get help on those functions. Right, and there's also a whole slew of properties uh, that I can get and set to uh, configure the device. So here all I want to do is read the waveform. And this takes input arguments, which in this case the input is the source, so that's channel 1. And output arguments, you can see from the syntax that it can provide uh, between 1 and 4 output arguments, so I'll just take all of the available outputs and I'll execute this command. And the result I get, we can see that uh, I got X and Y, which are 2,500 point of vectors of data, and I also got the units of volts and seconds.
Now the really nice thing about this uh, tool is that all of the commands that I've executed, we now have the equivalent uh, MATLAB code in the session log. So I can save that session as a script in MATLAB. I'll save it as read waveform script. And now if I disconnect from the instrument, close the tool, uh, go to the correct directory, I now have this uh, read waveform script which can pull data off of the instrument and I can then plot it. And I can even use the X unit and Y units to label my axes. So we've seen that this uh, test and measurement app is a really useful way to view all the hardware that's available to connect to, uh, then create device and interface objects to connect to that hardware. And um, if you're working with an instrument driver, you can see the driver functions uh, and the various properties that are available for uh, that hardware device. Once you've got some data that you've collected, you can export it uh, either to the MATLAB workspace or directly into a figure window to see what it looks like. And when you're done with uh, all the tasks that you want for your acquisition, you can automatically generate the equivalent MATLAB code and use this in the future when you, auto when you want to automate this set of tasks.